Hello all. Welcome to another video solution by Code Runner. In this video, we will be looking at the palindrome number problem on LeetCode and this video will provide you with the Python solution of this problem. I have also made a video for the C++ solution of this problem and if you are more comfortable with C++, then you can go ahead and find that video linked in the description box. Also, I request you to please subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates about exciting problems and their solution. So, without wasting any time, let's proceed to this problem. In the problem, we are given an integer input and we have to determine whether the number is a palindrome or not. The definition of palindrome is that it reads the same backwards and as it reads forwards. Also, we are not supposed to convert the integer to a string and then check the palindrome. To understand the problem better, let's check out the first input example. The input here is 1 to 1. If you see the reverse of this number, we still get 1 to 1. Therefore, the output of the function is true because 1 to 1 is a palindrome. In the next input example, we have the input as minus 1 to 1. This is not a palindrome because minus 1 to 1 when reversed reads as 1 to 1 minus. Thus, the output is false in this case. Now, having understood the problem, let's proceed to the Python code to solve this problem. As we just saw in the second input example, a negative number can't ever be a palindrome number. Thus, if the input is a negative integer, we return false. Then, we check the next condition. If the number is non-zero and it is divisible by 10, then this number also can never be a palindrome. Consider the examples 10, 20, 30 to understand this better. Note that here we exclude the number 0 because 0 is a palindrome and it is divisible by 10 as well. Having checked these two conditions, let's proceed to the next part where we'll reverse the second half of the original number and then check if the reversed second half is same as the first half or not. If the reversed second half is same as the first half of the number, then the number will be a palindrome. Otherwise, it won't be a palindrome. We start a while loop and only run it as long as the input number x remains greater than the reverse number. This while loop and the two code statements inside it will help us accumulate the numbers from the end of the number x and push them to the variable reverse. To understand this better, consider the example commented here. The input x is 5225. Initially, the value of reverse is 0. In the first iteration of the while loop, we get the value of reverse as 5 and x becomes 522. In the next iteration, we get reverse as 52 and x also becomes 52. There won't be any further iterations as the value of x and reverse are now same. We come out of the while loop and check if the value of reverse is same as x or not. If the value is same, then the original number x was a palindrome and hence we return true. One important point to note here is that this statement will only handle the even-length palindromic numbers. The case for odd-length palindromes would have to be handled separately and is done in the next if condition. To understand this better, consider the example of 525. This number is a palindrome and is also an odd-length number. After all the while loop iterations are done on 525, we'll get the value of reverse as 52 and x as 5. Here, as the length is odd, the center digit of the number does not matter at all to us. Thus, we just check the condition without taking the center number and if the condition is satisfied, we return true. If none of the if conditions were true, we return false and declare that the input number was not a palindrome. That is it. Great job and we are done with the solution. Let's try to run it and see if it works or not. And there you go. The solution has been accepted. I hope you liked the solution. If you did, then please hit the like button and press the bell icon to stay updated about the latest problems and their solution on LeetCode. Bye for now. 
Happy coding and I'll see you next time with another exciting problem and its solution.